Hey, all right, so today's video is gonna be a little different. I usually don't do reviews on like gaming headsets, but I figure that I have the new Stealth 600 uh, by Turtle Beach. It's like one of the new headsets, not really. There's like the 700 out. Um, I decided to go for the 600 because I heard a few things that are better about it. Um, now I've had the Platinums for a few months now after I got rid of the Golds. Um, so with this headset, I'll start off with this. I'm just going to talk about this first and then I'll get into the Stealth. And I have the Stealth right now because I'm playing God of War still. God of War is an amazing game. I can't wait to review it. Uh, nothing but good things about it so far. Um, yeah, so the Platinums. Okay, so Sony is known to have bad microphones for their headsets for the most part. They're not terrible, but they're just not that good either. Um, can't really show you an example right now because I'm not going to do the whole mic testing. I think it's too many people do that and it's supposed to be a review on the headsets. Um, so I'm just going to talk about that not get really into the the actual like sound of the headsets but I will talk about it so this headset just like the gold and just like the re-release of the gold which I haven't bought yet because it's not available in Canada uh, this headset is pretty solid for sound it has a versatile surround sound 7.1 it has the V it has like the 3d audio which isn't really that good um, it doesn't really work for like Uncharted 4 and I think and stuff like that. So, so long story short, the reason why I got the Stealth and started not using Sony headsets anymore after the Stealth is first off, this headset, um, the left side stopped working a little bit. I noticed after a while I could only hear on, on the right side. Sorry, this is my right. Um, and the left side really wasn't coming out too much. And I don't know why that is. I think maybe like, um, it was just wearing out but i've only had it for a few months and the, the gold was always fine by the way i've never had a problem with the gold it lasted for like three years since i had my ps4 or something so but the left side of this started giving out and there's more sound only to the right after just a few months so i'm like i thought it was my ears i thought it was tripping them out i'm like maybe it's just my ears like they're plugged and because it's really hot now in canada where i live and like my ears really react weird to the weather sometimes um they get plugged up and some and whatever but like then I realized it's probably not that because my regular MP3 headphones, I can hear both sides. I'm like, so it's not my ears. I'm not just going crazy. And I looked this up and apparently other people have had the same issues with these headsets. The left side gives out. And I tried to do a factory reset and everything. It just never worked. It never returned back on. So I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to go with, you know, something like this. And it took me hours just to make up my mind. I got this at Best Buy. 130 bucks here in the States. It's 100 bucks. It's always an extra, like, a little bit of money here because... Our dollar sucks. So, are these headphones good for, you know, the sound quality? Sure, they're pretty solid for the most part, I guess. They're not as, um, what do you call it? I feel like it should be more bass to it. There's not enough hmm to it, you know, like, I don't know. Like, the microphone isn't that good. Most people can't even hear you. Like, you sound, you kind of sound weird sometimes. Um, so, if Sony would just have, like, a mic, like, you know how this comes out, obviously, for these headsets, I'd rather have a microphone that actually comes out, and then you put it up and it mutes, that's pretty sick. Like, why not just have that? Like, people don't care about that, like, everything's, like, all these new companies, like Sony or whatever, they always want, like, to implement everything in their headsets, so nothing sticks out like that. They think it's, like, old technology or something, when really it isn't, it actually just creates a better microphone, and I'm totally okay with that. So would I recommend these or even the gold? I'd probably recommend the gold over these now that I think about it. There's not much of a difference. Um, it's kind of a waste of money if you already have the gold. I would just stick with that. But i give this headset like, I don't know. It feels, if it, it, if for $100 it's not bad. I would probably do that. Sorry, I gotta drink this coffee before it gets cold. Um... So yeah, I would recommend it, but if you have the gold, or if you have like, you know, the stealths or whatever else, there's no point in getting these. Um, I just wish they had a better microphone, and it, you know, the left side didn't give out. Um, okay, now, the Stealth 600, which I just bought. Okay, so I was very skeptical on these in particular, because I was hearing stuff about how... You can't hear that well, like even with the volume turned up all the way on your settings on your PS4 and the mic and the headset all the way up, you still can't hear as well. So I was like, I was really worried about that. 
Um, the biggest difference too in how they look is these are a bit more flimsy, I guess. They're more, more plastic, unlike the Sony ones. That's a, that's a big advantage over Sony headsets is they're built really good for the most part. These ones, you know, look like they could break, but they're actually pretty solid. Like, they have a little padding up here, foam, um, Turtle Beach. Like I said, the mic goes down, and we put it up, it goes mute. It has four presets, bass and boost, vocal, uh, I think vocal something. It brings up your, your voice. Um, obviously it does have virtual surround sound, but not 7.1, it's only 5.1, and that's one thing I'll start saying, or talking about now, is that the virtual surround sound on the, at least the Stealth, you can't really tell a big difference between the signature sound, which is the regular sound, and then the virtual surround, because it only is 5.1, if it was 7.1, I feel like you'd be able to tell a lot better, um, so with that being said, with the max volume on these headsets, they honestly they're not that loud and I've been playing God of War um, and they're just not that loud the best thing I could recommend if you do want a louder is just put the vocal boost up or not the vocal boost sorry the, the treble and bass if you want that's how I use it and I just put on the superhuman hearing the super, hu super human hearing is the reason to get this headset because it's more unique than the Sony presets in my opinion so that's basically what that is I'll just you probably can't see that too well um, Basically what that does, it creates, you can literally hear everything. If you're playing a first person shooter like Rainbow Six, it's really good for that. You can hear people reloading their guns from far away. It basically brings the noise right to your ears. So, um, and it balances everything else out. And not only that, it actually brings up the volume in general, in my opinion. It's, I think the best way to play or use these headphones in any game is the superhuman hearing on and the vocal, sorry, I keep saying vocal, and the treble and, um, bass boost and obviously with the virtual surround so if you add those three together i know it's a lot you shouldn't have to do that but it's the best way to use the headset um if it wasn't for the superhuman hearing i wouldn't recommend these i think that's the saving grace um i would recommend them if it was louder without using superhuman hearing but it actually really isn't it's kind of in the middle um it is kind of annoying that you can't turn up the volume louder but i'm still enjoying these i've only had it for a few days and if it was like I said, if it wasn't for the superhuman earring, I wouldn't probably buy them. If so, so um, another thing I like about these, the sound in general. Okay, between these and the platinums, the platinums, the sounds kind of like monotone. If that makes sense, it's kind of like flat. Every game kind of sounds the same, um, which it kind of obviously it's supposed to if you have it on a certain preset or like. If you have a shooter preset or if you have like let's say Horizon Zero Dawn or God of War, whatever game you're playing on the preset. But I feel like with this, the sounds are more scattered and they're more divided. And what I mean by that is like if somebody talks, you can kind of hear it one part of the ear and it's like th different sounds in the environment in the world kind of like different are different and they're more divided if that makes sense. Like um, I can't really explain it any, way, any other way um, besides that. It just sounds better. It's a bit more crisp. And the microphone's ten times better, so and it's it's around the same price for both headsets. So in Canada, it's a bit more, obviously, but it's I got them for 135 bucks at Best Buy. Okay, so would I recommend these, or even the 700s? I haven't I haven't bought the 7. This is my first headset that isn't Sony. I've only used Sony headsets in the past, even on the PS3. Um, so is this better than let's say the Gold? I do have. I, cause I played with the golds and um, they're pretty good. I would just buy a hair. I swear, just buy a hair. I would recommend these over the gold and um, the platinums. And some people might agree, some people might not. Like I said, if it wasn't for superhuman earring, I wouldn't recommend these over the platinums or the gold. It's one key feature that not only brings up a sound that you need, but creates a whole different um, experience, I think. And even with the, it, it almost competes with the virtual surround 7.1. If anything, the superhuman hearing is almost like the 7.1 virtual surround sound, but with better than the Sony one because the Sony one you can't really hear everything. Like I said, it's only just like more like a flat uh, type sound. So, um, other than that, these last about 15 hours. It's that's already longer than the Sony ones. Difference is Sony ones you can actually charge while you're playing. Can't do that with these. These are wireless. Comes with the dongle, just like the PS4. You plug it in, the adapter, and it just works. 
Um, yeah, so 15 hours, um, that's like an entire gaming session, an entire day. So like you said, you can't charge it while you're playing. That's the only downside. Um, like I said, the microphone's better. It's also compatible with PC. It's PS4 and PC is also Xbox version of this, um, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's basically my first, I guess, I guess my review or impressions of this headset. Um, like I said, if you're looking for a headset that's cheap, just like the Sony one somewhat, and if you're not worried about having it super loud, unless you, if you don't want to use the superhuman human for whatever reason, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to, because it's the best thing about the headset, then I wouldn't recommend these, I feel like, because it won't be that loud, and I don't think most people will be satisfied enough. I feel like so many people complain about the dumbest things anyways. So, but with that being said, I still like these better. This is probably one of the better, better purchases I've and kind of taken a chance on um, in a while, so... Yeah, like, yeah, I get these over the Sony one, so peace out.